I've got myself a growing family and I need a car that can get me everywhere we need to go safely and easily. You're in luck. The Chevy Traverse does it all. From hands-free lift gates to hidden storage compartments, you're going to get where you need to go with everything you need to bring. Check out the brand new Traverse at your New England Chevy dealer. All right, so you know a lot of people talk about seasoning the water. What does seasoning the water mean? Well, what we do is we take salt and whole black pepper and fresh bay leaf. You want to use whole black pepper because if you use ground pepper, then it would get into the shrimp, get into the lobster. And then we're going to use shrimp. We're going to cook him with the shell, protects the shrimp, and it also keeps him whole like this. So we're just going to put him right in here. We're going to cook him in here for about seven or eight minutes. And then we'll make sure you add the lemon to the shrimp. And now I'm going to go over to the lobster. You don't want to use a lot of water. You want to use a little bit of water because you really want to steam it. So again, we have the whole pepper, the salt, and the bay leaf. Now I'm going to add some fresh lemon, and then we're going to take the lobster. We use fresh Maine lobster here at Davio's. Look at that thing, it's beautiful. And you're going to put it right in, head first, okay? And then you're going to put the cover on top. And that's it. After this is all cooked, we're going to go to the other station, we're going to assemble it into our big seafood tower. So Rodney, our culinary director, is going to come over and help us and put together the big platter. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make scallop crudo. Now crudo is basically like ceviche. Now it's seafood marinating in citrus. So what I'm going to do is cut the scallop really thin. So the good thing about fish crudo, Steve, is that, you know, you just add, add some fresh lime, some fresh lemon, and some orange. And that's what's going to give you the citrusy and the sweet. The other way, you have to make sure that you use a really good sea salt and some chives and a little bit of olive oil to add some fatness to it. You just want to let it sit for about 45 minutes just to make sure that the fish is cooked through all the citrus and you're good to go. So Rodney, why don't we assemble our whole thing with the lobsters, the shrimp, the scallops, and everything. Let's do, let's the, do, let's do the big thing. All right. All right. You should try that uh, Louis dressing. I'm going to try the Louis favorite. dressing. All right, back to you, Billy and Jenny. 